I mean, Liverpool, I think, is a worse result, a worse result than this one, just because they're playing against Crystal Palace. They missed chances, but then Palace had chances as well. Alisson made one of the best saves you'll ever see. Um, I think if I'm being honest with you, again, if, if you look at Liverpool, no one expected Liverpool to be anywhere near where... I never expected Liverpool to be anywhere near where they are. If you said Liverpool will be two points off Manchester City with five, six games to go, I'd be like, no chance. This is a monumental achievement, I think, this season for Jurgen Klopp to be where they are. They've been... I said it before the international break. I think a few Liverpool fans had a go at me. I felt like they were hanging on. I know it just felt like they were sort of hanging on for dear life on this emotion. It's Klopp's last season. And then when they went out of the FA Cup to Manchester United, there was this narrative that, oh, the FA Cup's gone now, so now we can concentrate on Europe and the league. And then they said, well, we can con you know, we're potentially out of the Europa League now, so we can concentrate on the league. Mm, it's, it's, not, it's not happening like that. But I still think that Jurgen Klopp is getting the very best out of this Liverpool team and this Liverpool squad. And that what we're now seeing is probably what they are. And that he's over, they've overachieved to this point. Now, they could still gather that emotion. They could go to Atalanta and do something ridiculous knowing them. That's the way they are in Europe. Um, but it just feels to me like now they were the team out of the three. When you looked at them performance-wise, City and Arsenal, I felt watching them, were better teams. And that Liverpool would sort of come back in games or they'd make substitutions or they would be sort of, if you like, get something out of nothing. That I felt as though they were playing in moments a little bit and they've got this world-class centre-back and great goalkeeper who hasn't been there for a few weeks. But just you felt with Liverpool it wasn't as uh, smooth when you were watching them. I think Arsenal have looked really smooth in the last couple of months and then City have started to look really smooth as they always do. Whereas Liverpool, you felt, were always the scruffier one of the three. And yet they were hanging in there and there was sort of this emotion. That's what you were calling upon the, the Anfield crowd, Jurgen Klopp's last season, sort of the five strikers that they've got and the goals that they can bring on and the changes off the bench. And you were relying upon things that weren't, if you like, as good a performance levels as Arsenal and, um, and, and City. But you're calling upon other things, other factors. Uh, but it's maybe just in this last couple of weeks become a little bit tough for them. Uh, and that's how I feel about Liverpool. But again, if you said to me at the start of the season, this is more than par, by the way, yeah. on the day of the Masters sort of last yeah. round. This is more than par for Liverpool where they are. Um, I think this is it, this is par for Arsenal. This is where I think we thought they would be at the start of this season after the large investment. Um, and, but Liverpool are more because I don't think anybody expected them to be so close to City at this time of season. So a difficult day for them today, a really disappointing day. The crowd felt a bit flat watching it on the screens that we've got here. Um, and yeah, bad day for them, and maybe a bit of a reality check that you know the FA Cup's gone, maybe Europe's gone, and maybe the Premier League title's gone, and Jurgen Klopp's last season is going to potentially end with the Carabao Cup. But they've got two; they've only got two points behind City. They're likely to be concentrating just on the Premier League, and that and they can be dangerous because they have got that something in them. Klopp's got something in him that can garner a response. And they'll be the ones that have beaten City in this last five or six years. So, yeah, they're still in it, but there's just a, a feeling that they're sort of careering along the road a little bit at and the moment.